New graduation changes tonight after a man who threatened students gets out on bond. East Lincoln High School graduation is tomorrow night, and now school officials and law enforcement in the county say they're making changes just to be on the safe side. Fox 46's Maureen Wirtz is live outside the high school in Maureen. How are parents feeling about these sudden changes? Lindsay, the parents we spoke with say they understand why the school switched to plans. One of the new changes happening tomorrow is the school will be limiting the number of people who can attend the graduation. Just four tickets for graduating senior. It's just been a hard year. She didn't even get to do prom. She didn't get to do prom last year. So it's been difficult. Shayna Carter says COVID has made her daughter's senior year at East Lincoln High School hard enough. And now things are taking another turn. Because it's been so um, quick. Mm -hmm. You know, yesterday we were talking about, you know, everybody was going to be able to go. And today it's like, okay, we have to reel that back in. And we're only going to be doing like, you know, two or three people now. So mm -hmm. even though we have four tickets, we still, how do you choose between grandparents, you know? <laughs> She says she was planning on bringing lots of family to her daughter's graduation on Friday, but the school changed plans Wednesday, moving the graduation indoors. The reason why? Safety. Lincoln County Sheriff's deputies say 18-year-old Eamon Douglas Stevens threatened to kill students online in early May. He's been arrested and charged, but now he's out on bond. And Shana says she understands why they made the call. You know, I'm just, I'm trying to look at the big picture you know, my child is graduating high school and she gets to start this next chapter and that's what we're just trying to focus on. Graduation is seven o'clock tomorrow night and Lincoln County Sheriff's deputies will also be there to just provide that extra layer of security. Reporting live in Lincoln County, Maureen Wirtz, Fox 46.